live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I have a cigar shop called Foga Bates. Been there for almost 20 years now. The goal was to bring some of my best people down who've never been to Nicaragua before, educate them on cigars. Of all the companies that I could have presented their cigars to, I think Drew Estate does the absolute best job. Their, uh, their hospitality, their ability to look at everything they do is amazing, unsurpassed in any company I've ever seen before. So these guys have learned an incredible amount of information about how cigars are made on this trip. I started smoking premium cigars a couple years ago and the fellow who owns the shop where I've gone is James George and he is a Drew Estates fanatic. And so he told me about this a few months ago and I thought it would be a very interesting, educational and also fun. And it's been all of those. We actually just came out with a cigar called Kentucky Fire Cured. Not to be confused with Kentucky Fried Chicken, but it's Kentucky Fire Cured. <laughs> And uh, what we actually did, it's a three-year process, uh, and we, we try to work on it, and we use this way that fire cured tobacco in Kentucky, and we brought that aspect down here, and then we, uh, you know, came up with Kentucky Fire Cure, where it's three different sizes. Now, that cigar is going to be more of a very smoky flavor, uh, a very peaty. If you do like scotches or whiskeys or bourbons, that would be a great smoke to try. I just envision, you know, people cutting leaves and putting them in a bin somewhere, but there's so much handling and so many different processes, and to see that, I enjoyed the way that uh, they would tie them together and dry them out and, and hang them on the racks that just went up and up and up. Once they grind the leaves in the tobacco fields, they bring it to the cure barn, and they immediately start with the heat. That's why the curing process lasts less. The fact that everyone recognizes the craftsmanship that goes into making one cigar, and you look at all the people who are involved in the production process from the tobacco fields to the curing barns to Drew Estate, and when that cigar gets in our shop, it's $8. It's unbelievable. It should be three times as much. And you know, everyone commented on how that cigar is a work of art. It's not just a commodity, it's a living, breathing piece of artistry. To see the workers in the factory, I used to work for the Commerce Department at the state of Oklahoma, and I've been to a lot of factories with that job years ago. But you don't find very many happy places in manufacturing. And we saw that today. It was uh, very unusual. I hadn't seen that before. I think since having done it before, this blending session was the best. There was more diversity as far as tobaccos go, as far as wrappers go. It allowed for more creativity. I think it was set up in such a way that educated everyone on what the tobaccos were. I think this year's Cigar Safari was a lot more educational in relation than just a uh, presentation. It allowed everyone to get their hands dirty with all aspects of making a cigar. And so by the time they got to the blending session, it's like, I really want to create something special. I want something that's unique. And a lot of guys took the entire amount of time to go figure it out and put a lot of work into it. And so these are memories they've made that will last a lifetime. Uh, there you go, make him famous. <laughs>